today we are out testing the all new Hero 9 Black. Wow, this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> What is up, you guys? Ron here, and this is gonna be a very special episode because over the past months, I have had the absolute privilege to be able to test out a new product from GoPro. And that is why today, I will be sharing with you the nine things that you need to know about the all new Hero 9 Black. <laughs> <laughs> and without further ado, here are some of my favourite moments testing this beast out. Let's dive into it! So, the first thing that you need to know about the all new Hero 9 Black is that it has a brand new 23.6 megapixel sensor and that is huge! With the new sensor, you are now able to shoot 5K video and 20 megapixel photo. What that means is that you now have more resolution and clarity in the content that you shoot. Alright, I know what some of you are thinking right now. Ron, why do I have to shoot 5K resolution? Before you rule 5K out, one of the huge benefits in shooting higher resolution is that you are able to export a higher resolution frame grab from your video. So when shooting in 5K, you are now able to export a 14.7 megapixel frame grab. So think of it as an endless burst mode. For those of you who know me, you know that I love to capture photos on my GoPro camera. So to be able to shoot 20 megapixel photo on the Hero 9 Black, that is such a game changer. So here are some photos I have captured recently on the Hero 9 Black. So in this series of photos, they are all shot on the GoPro Super Photo mode. Um, it's unprocessed, so I've not done any color grading uh, because I want to just show you what Super Photo can do. And this one right here, takes the cake for me. It's one of my favorite shots. Um, it's shot on a bright sunny day, yet at the same time, the photo is not overexposed. In fact, you know, if you look at the colors, it is so rich. What blows my mind is how rich the blue saturation is. You know, uh, where the sea meets the horizon, it's not just a blur line, it's a very defined line. And if you look at the foreground, you can actually see the details in the rocks. So I think whatever GoPro is doing here with HDR, multi-frame noise reduction or local tone mapping, it is awesome. Um, next, I also wanted to try out the raw photo capability on the Hero 9 Black. So this shot right here was shot at a train station here in Bangkok. You know, I wanted to be a bit creative so I shot it um, with a puddle hoping to get some reflection and let's see what happens after I post-process it. Boom! There you go! Wow! This is the before and this is the after. Um, what can I say, you know, um, I, I use Lightroom to edit this photo and there is so much more details that the camera is actually capturing that I was able to bring out. What blows my mind is the amount of details that I was able to bring out from the powder, you know, in the reflection. If you look at what I shot before, you know, you could hardly see any details. After I processed it, you know, you are now able to bring out so much tones, colors uh, from that photo. So for all you uh, raw photo lovers out there, I think this is something that you guys would really love. So the second thing that you need to know about the Hero 9 Black, more screens. That is right, the introduction of a front-facing 1.4 inch display at the front of a GoPro camera. It is amazing, perfect for vloggings and selfies. 
Something interesting to know, uh, you, there are several modes that you can toggle in the front screen. You can set it either full screen, you can set it actual screen, which is my favorite, you know, because it shows you the actual aspect ratio of a photo, 4x3 or 16x9. You can toggle it to status only to save a little bit of battery, or you can turn it off completely. That's right. And when I say more screens, you guys, I mean more screens because the rear touch display is now 16% larger as well. And that's great. I love it because when I play back my videos right now, I can watch it in a bigger screen. Wow. Number three, more power with the all new battery. With 1,720 milliamp of power, you now have 30% longer battery life. To put things into perspective, as I was out testing out the camera, a single battery was able to last me more than half a day of my shoot. So that's amazing. You know, at the same time, I also hear that the battery has increased performance in cold temperature. Though I'm unable to test it in Thailand, I can't wait to test this out the next time I, went, I go up to the mountains. Number four, the enhanced form factor of the Hero 9 Black. Yes, because it is a GoPro, it embodies that GoPro DNA of being rugged and waterproof without a housing. It also spots that built-in mounting system that GoPro introduced in the Hero 8 and Max, which is awesome! So, what is new? Well, first of all, the removable lens is now back! <laughs> so, for all of you action sport lovers, having a broken lens is not the end for your GoPro. You can simply replace the lens right now. Well, at the same time, I also hear that the removable lens makes way for an introduction of a lens mod. Well, stay to the end of the video to find out more on that. Next, we now also have a new water drainage microphone on the side. So for water sports lovers, that is something that you're gonna love. I, I love it, uh, I tried vlogging out at sea. I might post a video in future to show you guys more about that. Next up, you now have larger buttons. So what that means is that if you're wearing gloves, you know, you can now feel that buttons. Maybe it's on my helmet. All right, where is the button? You can now feel it. <laughs> the last update on the form factor, it's a new side door that's spring-loaded. Hear it. Hear the satisfying click. Ah, there you go. Hear it one more time. There you go. So users will not forget to close the side door. So I love it. Number five, Hypersmooth. 3.0. Wow! With Hypersmooth 3.0, you now have horizon leveling in camera. Check this out. Right, it's crazy! You now are able to shoot straighter, smoother, steadier shots straight from the camera. Wow, another amazing thing is that Hypersmooth Boost is now available in all resolutions, frame rates, and digital lenses. Get out of here! <laughs> Last but not least, Hypersmooth 3.0 is even applicable up to 5K. Number 6, Time Warp. 3.0. <laughs> wow. I am so excited for this because this is my favorite feature, you guys. You, you know what? <laughs> I'll let the video do the talking. Check this out. <laughs> huh. Pretty awesome, huh? <laughs> With the all new speed ram in Time Warp 3.0, you can slow things down to real speed with audio like this. <laughs> Just by a tap of a button. All right, let's get back into the action. <laughs> and that is right, you guys. With a tap on the screen, you can now slow down your time warp to real speed with audio. It's crazy. And what that means is that, hey, you can now vlog in your time warp mode. Just as I did. Wow. <laughs> and more than that, you guys, the new uh, improved speed ram option also allows users to toggle to half speed so that if they want to have epic slow-mo effect, they can go to half speed from their time warp, like this footage.
Number seven is a full suite of smart capture modes that GoPro is introducing to give users more control over their camera beyond the ProTune setting. And that is also known as the power tools. That's right. So the first power tool that I want to share about is hindsight. And this one is truly magical. Think of hindsight as the video version of LiveBus. Why do I say that? Hindsight captures and saves up to 30 seconds before the shutter is being pressed. <laughs> I'll say that again. Hindsight captures and saves up to 30 seconds before the shutter is being pressed. What? That's right. I, I would say this is really revolutionary in terms of um, what the camera is doing to ensure that you do not miss that moment. So here's an example of a video that I took, you know, trying to land a trick. Typically, I would have my camera set up and I'll be recording a long video. Well, with hindsight now toggled on, I don't have to keep my camera recording for a long time. All I gotta do is set my camera up, frame it up right, land my trick, walk over to the camera, then hit the record button. <laughs> and that is how you use hindsight. <laughs> because hindsight would have already captured 30 seconds leading up to that event. Wow. What that means is that I not only save battery because I'm not shooting a long video, I am also saving space in my SD card. It is amazing. So think about the benefits. I, I'm just getting started with hindsight. I can't wait to see what you guys captured uh, using hindsight. So yeah, let me know what you think about this awesome feature. The next set of power tools that I want to introduce to you is called Scheduled Capture. So with Scheduled Capture, you can now set your Hero 9 Black 24 hours in advance to capture time-lapse videos or even photos. What that means is that I don't have to wake up at 5 a.m. anymore to capture that epic sunrise. <laughs> because right now, I can just set up the Hero 9 Black the day before, frame it up right, you know, compose it right, and then turn on schedule capture. And then the next day, the Hero 9 Black will wake up and shoot and capture in that specific mode that I've set it in. Wow. <laughs> All right, I know what some of you are thinking. You are asking me, Ron, but if you don't wake up, how do you turn off the camera? Am, is my Hero 9 Black gonna shoot till my battery is flat or my SD card is full? Absolutely not. And that is why there is this other mode called Duration Capture. Like its name says, you can also set a specific duration that you want your Hero 9 Black to record in. Say that I only want to capture one hour time, uh, 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 a time frame. All I gotta do, set it to one hour. And after an hour, my Hero 9 Black will then stop recording. And then when auto power off kicks in, the camera turns off. And when I finally get up from bed, hey, my camera still has battery, it still has SD card space, and I am ready to go. What an amazing mode. I think this is, what, this is something that I truly love, especially when I'm traveling. Number eight. Webcam mode. <laughs> Simply connect your Hero 9 Black to the computer using the USB-C cable that's provided to you and you now have an amazing webcam camera with a front-facing display to frame up your shots. How amazing is that? Uh, you now are able to broadcast in full HD with the iconic 132 degree field of view. Now, talk about leveling up that teleconference game. Number nine, to expand the capabilities of the Hero 9 Black, GoPro has introduced two new mods. The new media mod features an all new weather resistant construction. And the next one I am particularly very excited about. It is the Max Lens Mod. <laughs> that is right, you guys. With the Max Lens Mod on the Hero 9 Black, users will now be able to enjoy the features and benefits of the GoPro Max in the Hero 9. So what that means is that users can now shoot uh, with Max Hyper Smooth up to 2.7K 60 frames a second. At the same time, you also have 360 Horizon Lock in camera. That is crazy. And last but not least, with the Max Lens Mod, users as well will enjoy the immersive ultra-wide Max Super View at 155 degree. Uh, well, this 
has got to be my favorite mod of them all. I think I'm going to do an in-depth review, so please check that out. I'm going to leave that link in the description here. <laughs> all right, I know we say nine things that you need to know about the Hero 9 Black, but hey, let's not forget some of the other awesome features that the Hero 9 Black has, such as live streaming in 1080p with Hypersmooth 3.0, night lapse video, eight times slow motion, and GPS plus motion sensors so that you can overlay that lovely telemetry data over your video. And that's it for this week's video, you guys. The nine things that you need to know about the all new GoPro Hero 9 Black. And here is some behind the scenes, you guys. This entire video was brought to you by the Hero 9 Black because I wanted to test out the audio capabilities of it. So this is my setup. <laughs> All right, you guys, as always, let me know what you guys think. What is your favorite feature on the Hero 9 Black? And if you like the video, please smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, share the video with one of your friends. And as always, I will see you guys in the next upload. Bye.